are here crafting at home again. I'm Danielle from Pro World and I have my daughter with me today. Go ahead. Gianna. Gianna. She is going to help me with our current um, kind of activity or project we have today. It is basically using all of your vinyl scraps and creating something with them. I know myself, I hate to throw away vinyl. I always think that I'm going to use the piece like like this or like a tiny one like this. You just, you never know. So uh, instead of throwing them out, I put them in a box and I think one of these days I'm going to use it. And we have that project for you. This right here. Uh, so basically we did one full design like this. Uh, cut this out on your, whoo, oh, you're going to help me with that one? Thank you. You cut this out with your vinyl cutter. So this is one of your larger pieces of vinyl. And then what we're going to do is kind of trace this design on our garment and then fill it all in with the little pieces. So that way uh, you can create kind of a one of a kind design. All right. So we'll put that down there and we're good, right? We have, okay. All right, so I have my shirt here and I've already kind of cheated and made my outline, but I'm going to show you how I did it. So I laid down my design where I wanted it, which was right here. And then I took, oh, you can't rip it like that. You have to use the scissors. I took my uh, wonderful, very tiny color pencil, but either way, you could do a color pencil or chalk. And I just kind of lifted up where my uh, vinyl would be and marked it on my shirt. And I just kind of went all the way around and did, you can use that chalk as well. That one was a huge piece and it was kind of uh, I going tiny everywhere. Ones. I couldn't find it last night. Um, and then you're just going to go all the way around until you've made your circle. And you just have to worry about the outline um, because the other part, this is gonna go on top. So this area here is gonna go on top of your vinyl. All my scraps tended to be Caesar, which is good because Caesar vinyl can be overlapped um, without any kind of issue. Uh, we're not gonna use glitter because that one can't be overlapped, but, um, but everything else can. So we'll stick with that. Okay, so let me just get this here. All right, you got some scraps for me? Some. Okay, so the most important thing uh, to remember is what vinyl pieces you're putting down and when, so that way when you go to remove them, uh, you remember which ones you're working with because you want to make sure you peel off all the, um, all the carrier sheets. You, you got to... Speed up this cutting process there. I'm trying. It's hard with it's these hard to scissors. Cut. To cut vinyl. Cut, 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 cut. Cut, 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 cut. Put your scissor in tight to the vinyl. And then you'll be able to cut it easy. Okay. Okay. Okay, any questions so far? No, so this? far. Okay. Not so far. All right, we'll get a good couple of number of pieces on our on our on our shirt here. You're gonna cover with your nonstick sheet. If you don't have a nonstick sheet around, uh, you can use parchment paper, which is what this is. Um, you got some more pieces for me. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And also with vinyl, it just has to be closed and locked for just, uh, your time just has to be just a couple seconds. It doesn't have to be a lot. You're basically just setting your vinyl in place. And then when you come here, now you have to just peel away all the carrier sheets. You don't wanna do a carrier sheet. Um, you don't wanna forget a carrier sheet because then you're gonna see it in your design. Okay, so I got all my carrier sheets, and let's go for the next round. Can you go get me the other scissors? Hi, Nana. Hey, Nana's watching. Oh, hi, Nana. Hi, Nana. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, now this next row, you can definitely go ahead and overlap wherever you, on your printed vinyl pieces, so that's fine. And you're just really gonna work this out. Thank you, you can use those because there's a little bit sharper and might be easier for you. You don't want to. All right, we have to pick up the pace. Go fast. Maybe we'll do bigger pieces. Yep, that's an electric piece. That's good. I always, I um, find that when I was doing this, I kept forgetting where I put my, which vinyl was new and which vinyl was old. So just kind of keep tabs on what you're working with. Do you like this color? I do. Okay. I almost snipped your fingers right there. Yeah, how dare you? <laughs> All right, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six pieces. Nope, see, I was about to overlap that one. All right, six pieces. Don't overlap the ones that you're printing because uh, the carrier sheet will get stuck. One, this color. two, three, four, five, uh, Noli Siap, no, um, hopefully I said your name right. Sorry if I didn't. Uh, I said I bought a heat press fetting. You guys can I exchange it to a bigger one. I got the 12 by 12, I think. Do we exchange it? No. Um, it really depends. It, well, it really depends on your, when you ordered it. Uh, we don't have a, a buyback program. So if that's... Um, what you're asking or what you're looking for that's uh, not offered, but you can definitely send an email to our um, to our company and we can uh, take a look at that. Our email address is service at proworldinc.com and we can look into your account and into your order and uh, see how we can help you. And Vicki Dunning says, why does it matter which vinyl is new versus old? Uh, as far as printing it, basically, because all well, all the vinyl is old, so all of it is scraps. But when you print it down, like you can see, these that haven't been printed yet are uh, they have a carrier sheet, whereas the ones that have been printed, you're taking the carrier sheet off. So you need to know which vinyl uh, has the carrier sheet to remove it, because you can't wash the vinyl with the carrier sheet. So once you're all done, you want to make sure all the carrier sheets off. So I have one, two, three, four, five, five so far. Six. Probably best to just do it in groups of six so I can keep track of it. Hello, Nilsa from Florida. Don't get scared. She's still going live. How you doing over there, G? Good. Okay. Let's get some bigger pieces here. Hey. This is <laughs> taking oh, a like little this? longer. You want this bigger of a piece? No, that one's not going to work. But these itty bitties. Everyone, you can see. These are itty bitties. Hey. <laughs> Everybody shouting out where you're from. Hey, from Central Texas, Melinda. Hello from Chicago, Mary Lou. <laughs> I lost my... <laughs> and Gianna is gone. I lost my uh, partner in crime here. Oh, our dog is barking outside. I'm not sure if anybody can hear him um, from, from Facebook here, but... Keith, Keith Solomon, Tampa, Florida on deck. Florida people in the house, hey. <laughs> Mary from New Hampshire. You're not stuck. The bike is where he is. Um, Helen coming in from South Jersey. Jersey people, yeah. <laughs> Noli said, where is your main office located? Uh, Pensacola, New Jersey. One, two, three, four, five. Study from Orlando. 
Holly White from West Virginia. Charlotte checking in from Atlanta. <laughs> Becky from Roebling, New Jersey in the house. <laughs> Donna from Ohio. Right in front of his leg. Noli from California. I'm hoping all you guys are staying in place when you're home. Yes. Craft as much as you can. We are still, Pro World is definitely still open and shipping orders. So uh, now's the time to place anything that you could possibly think of that you might need to get you through uh, your social distancing. Thank you. Dutchess County, New York. North Carolina. Hey, Shelly. Uh, Melinda Clark says, I bought a big 16 by 20 heat press and the top platen is moving around a lot. Can I email you guys to help me figure it out? Yeah, definitely. Send us an email, uh, send photos. We'll be able, our heat press tech will be able to help you out with that and fix it. Thank you. You guys can see how it's coming along. Do you want more green, Daddy? That's fine. Michael Johnson from Miami. Daddy, no. Stop <laughs> that. You see these looks I get? Ooh. <laughs> this this is a day, what are we, day eight of uh, staying at home. So that's what happens. No, it's not. It's been two weeks. Three weeks. <laughs> See, Slow nobody down, even knows please. anymore. Three weeks since we've been home. But if you are looking for uh, some fun social distance shirts, um, we do have a few of them available. You're going to show them? Thank yeah. you for your a great helper today. And this one, practice safe hugs, social di distance. Mm -hmm. Um. Don't panic. This is my social distance t-shirt. And yeah, that's it. Okay. So might as well have a have fun with it. There's, you know, a lot of people that we've been talking to, it's they'd rather just kind of make light of it just to keep it from being overwhelming. Thank you. Bob Sarver said, loving this from PA. How many of you are currently um, in your craft room and you're looking at all these vinyl scraps or you're cleaning your craft room because there's nothing else for you to do at the moment. So you see all these scraps that you have. This is the perfect opportunity to use them and uh, you know, really work with what you have. And we would love to see, piece. oh, thank you. We would love to see your craft space, what you're working with, where you're at. Uh, so definitely send in those photos as well. Cut them all up, bug. Do it. Even pink? Do your scraps. Get your scrap Even it on. Pink. <laughs> Even pink. Even pink. Even pink. Real men wear pink. My candy dish. I was looking for that. No, it wasn't. I put it there. Last <laughs> Barbara night. Chapman. Hey, good job. She said, "Glad you did this. I hated to throw anything away." I'm I'm the worst at throwing things away. We have a big box in our studio of just random scraps of vinyl, and I was like, you know what? And you can do this with um, signed vinyl as well. It's it will be just a different process. If you want me to uh, walk you through that as well in another Facebook Live, just uh, mention it in the in the comments. So that way, if there's you know if I see a need for it or a want, I can definitely um, do that one as well. I have plenty of those scraps too. We also have the ones. How you doing over here, Jay? I'm good. <laughs> 
we're starting to uh, wind down to the last little bits of it, so that's good. Right. Uh, watch, you cannot cut like that. Are Thank you about you. to stab me? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> it won't let me. Cut. Push it all the way to the bottom and then cut. I love this because you don't need your vinyl cutter out. You don't need to worry about what piece is going where the vinyl cutter will uh, find your little piece on your your I mat. Stuck. I am fine. I thought I had another one on here, but I guess I don't. Oh, where this are one. Where's gonna be at? They're gonna go on top. Oh. All right, we are. Oh. Almost, almost done. done. I almost, almost lost that one too. Done. This is a bit time consuming, but it is actually interesting and it comes out really, really fun. Daddy, how dare you? How dare I? How dare you? How dare you? How dare you? I just put that piece on. You can't put me. Watch your scissors, please. I know, right? <laughs> Jeez, she's coming at me today. <laughs> I didn't even put them near you. It went like this. They went this It's way. because she cut these tiny pieces. That's why. Oh, oh. Yeah, that's why. Let's go. Hey. Wes Johnson no, asks, is that press you are using the newer version? No. This, um, we've had this one for a couple months now. Um, so it did not. So I'm not sure when you might have purchased yours, but it, um, it is a little bit different. And Nilsa says, uh, which ones can I not use for layering? Glitter. Anything with texture. Glitter. Stay away from those. We need another hot pink one. Now we did do another version of this. Uh, My bunny. For yes, her bunny that she picked out. My bunny. Um, but that one, it's basically just a silhouette. Here, hold this one up for me. Hold on. Uh, it's basically a silhouette of the bunny, and then you just fill in the silhouette. And again, you do the same, same process, same uh, procedure as this one. But now that one is glitter. So that's how you can kind of throw in your glitter in there. Glitter vinyl doesn't like to be layered on top, like glitter on glitter. So it's it's kind of hard uh, to layer glitter and have that in this process. Thank you. So I made it tiny. I was holding the bunny and the scissors with one hand. Okay, you uh -uh, can put the bunny down. Don't. Thank you. All of a sudden, <laughs> it got really scary in here. <laughs> we need a sign that says, uh, how many days accident free at work? <laughs> house <laughs> Jose from Indiana and this is also really good I don't know if any of you uh, run into this like I do where you forget to mirror a design totally guilty yeah. um if that's the case do this uh, with the pieces that you've messed up it doesn't have to you can just kind of cut around your your lines that you already did so you won't really have any kind of indication of of the design but at least you're not wasting the vinyl i do it a lot where i forget to mirror the design um and then you're thinking oh all this vinyl is wasted but it, it, it's not though you can definitely uh, do this process and you'd be just fine and melinda asks uh can you do regular vinyl then finish the rest with glitter yes like regular vinyl on top and then put the glitter on, yes. Like if we were to do, like if this was the bunny, it, you could definitely do that and put the glitter on top as your last layer. All right, I think we're, we're almost done. Thank you everyone for hanging in there with us as we uh, got our last couple pieces here. I'm looking for this color, here we go. What are you eating? She stole a jelly bean. Oh. Two. Two of them. <laughs> oh my goodness. All Rose right. said, love the idea of using your mistakes. Thank Anyone you, Rose. Else? Anyone else, Daddy? All right, and then I have one more spot in here and I'm just gonna fix it up, put that there. And then we have one more and we're done and we'll put the last layer on top so everyone can see uh, what it looks like all finished. And one and more. And then we'll put the emoji. 
colors yet. Oh, not that color because that one's already everywhere. We'll put Daddy's creepy emoji for some reason he likes. <laughs> I do. I like. Okay. Out of all of them, you had to put that one. All right, we've made it, everybody. We have used all of our scraps. We made it to this part now. Okay, so now I have to make sure that I actually put that part on right. Why, thank you. You're welcome. So you're lining it up. Well, I have one little spot here that I oh, no. missed. I got me. it. Thank you. It wouldn't have been a horrible thing to have the black showing, but we'll just fix it up before we finalize it. You're not showing her head. That's <laughs> right. Now she's commenting on the camera crew. <laughs> right. Always a critic, always a critic. I think that looks good. I think we are nice and straight. That one piece of Green is kind of looks like a nose. Maybe we should break that up a little. No? Well, that's okay. We'll leave it. All right. That looks good. Cover one last time with your parchment. Close and lock. And we're going to do this for a little bit longer. We're at five seconds right now just because I wasn't really doing the timing. Um, but your last layer should be for that full amount of time, which is usually about 10 to 15 seconds. And I like doing the garment color that as it looks like a nose. It does. I think I'll, I think we'll uh, kind of <laughs> press over that part. Um, but I like doing the color of the t-shirt because you're really hiding the fact that this. Oh, there. <laughs> you're really hiding the fact of what you were, uh, you know, what you're doing with the eyes. It really thinks that the the shirt is coming through uh, for these parts. So. That's all there is to it. A lot of time, but who doesn't have time uh, nowadays? Uh, so it gets you the ability to clean your craft room out or your working space and create a really fun shirt. Cindy asks, where are the smiley and bunny outlines? Bunny! <laughs> I made them myself. Um, but what you can do if you're working with the Silhouette Cutter, um, the Cameo software, you're able to pull uh, silhouettes into that and trace them. And then you, I did the, an offset to get a thicker line. So that's definitely an option. Or if you're working with Illustrator, Corel Draw, you can create your own designs. Um, but these were, this one was found, that one was found, and this smiley I made myself, but I mean, who, who it's yeah, a smiley. Yeah, you can go on uh, like Google, Amazon, yes. something. Well, yeah. Google, 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 stop there. <laughs> <laughs> and to find fun emojis and bunnies and... Whatever. So what did we type in? We did bunny silhouettes mm -hmm. and then a whole bunch of them came up. Yeah. And then you picked, she picked that one. Um, picked you picked which I'm one that you like and then you put that into your uh, silhouette software to, to make it and trace it. Mm -hmm. Or there's SVGs out there that you could purchase as well that are... Thank you. That are uh, already vectorized for you. So when you bring it into the, sil the Silhouette Cameo software or any color software, uh, you're able to just work with it and manipulate it for what you need. Mom. All right. Anything else? I put it on you because it was a dress on me. Oh, okay. <laughs> put down to my kneecap. It was long. Well, I don't know if it's any better on me. <laughs> look, look, look. Down to my kneecap. Yes. Very far. Uh, <laughs> All right. No more questions? Just comments. Okay. Uh, Bob said, if you need more mistakes to work with, I have a box full. No, Bob, use them. <laughs> <laughs> Make your own. Make your own. <laughs> and Cindy said, I just had an idea. I have a couple shirts I messed up by pressing them upside down. The image I could cover up. Yes. And here, we'll do, if you want to zoom in on this, you do see where the vinyl overlaps. But it's okay because that's it. I think it just adds to it, especially with the piecing of it. Um, so I don't think it would be a bad thing if you could see it underneath. But definitely possible to work with. 
All right. Well, thank you everybody for watching. I have uh, a question. You have a question. We're in closing <laughs> remarks here. I have a question. <laughs> What's your question? Um, could you do two things on a shirt like that? Sure, like okay. two different yeah. okay. uh -huh. patterns like that. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. absolutely. All right, thank you everybody for watching and for tuning in, and we'll see you here next week. Stay safe. Bye. Bye.